Alex has been just clamoring to debate with me or talk to me about uh, since the draft process began. And that was uh, Wandale Robinson against Sky Moore. Yes. And this is a big question. Here it is. Uh, where do you fall in this debate? Because this is a fun one. I, I think both have a really good case, but you go ahead and give yours. Yeah, let me start off by saying I think if the Patriots end up with either guy, it's a good pick. And you're probably looking at Wandale Robinson in the second round, Sky Moore in the third round, so it becomes a value thing. We did this last year with the tiers of the players in, in um, uh, COVID brain again, Jalen North Texas, drafted by the Bucks. Jalen Darden. Jalen Darden and Kadarius yeah. Tony, and we stacked them all last year. Um, this year it kind of goes uh, – I almost said Jerry and Judy. Man, this is um, – John Mechie, Wandale Robinson, Sky Moore, right? And then he can get into some of the other guys a little further down. Right. Again, I like both players. I think that Sky Moore is probably a little bit more polished, which they'll like. But – and then, by the way, Bo Melton would be the day three guy in this right. in this tier. Um, yeah. I like Sky Moore. I think he's polished. I think he's a good route runner. I think he's the guy that they are going to like better. He's more traditionally their pick. Yeah. That being said – I think what this team really needs in whatever facet on the offensive side of the ball, whether it's a receiver or running back, a tight end is somebody who can create with the ball in their hands. Kind of like what we thought John U. Smith would be last year. Wandale Robinson to me is that guy. Wandale Robinson is whether it's a, a slant, a screen, an end around, whether it's lining up as a running back and he is a converted running back. So he has experience doing that. You know, he can kind of be that, sort of gadget player you can line up all over the formation that Debo Samuel type I think Wandale Robinson really fits the need of that explosive ball carrier and they'd have to cut coach him up a little bit on the finer points of being a receiver again he did just switch to receiver two years ago so he's new to this and I know we we have our you know we're wary about certain areas of the coaching staff but I think him working with Troy Brown that would be a great fit Basically, the parts of the game I think Robinson is missing, the parts of his game I think he needs to, not missing, but needs to really round out, are what Troy Brown was so great at as a player. So I see that as a mix. So I think either one is a great addition. I don't know that either one on their own is the difference maker. You want to pair this guy with an X, whether it's, you know, a first round pick, a guy, a, you know, one of the, the true X's, like, a, I guess not Johan Dotson in their system, but, um, or probably more likely a free agent or, or, or a veteran acquisition, like yeah. a Mike Williams or maybe a Calvin Ridley. Um, but I, I think either one of these guys can give the offense a dynamic they really need. Yeah. So this is a conversation of an explosive, more explosive ball carrier in Wandell Robinson versus the route runner in Sky Moore, right? right. Sky Moore. They both win in they both win in similar fashion, but they do it in different ways. Similar areas of the field, right? Like if you right. had a heat yeah. map yeah. of where their targets were and where their touches were, it would be very there would be a lot of overlap, but they do it in different ways. Exactly. Sky Moore has some of the best feet that I've seen of any wide receiver prospect in this draft. He can get off press coverage, really sudden quick movements at the line of scrimmage to get off press, separates well at the top of the route. And although he is not game breaking like Wandell is in the with the ball in his hands I like how he slithers with the ball right I think he has that kind of Julian Edelman like duck and weave in and out of contact maybe not somebody that's going to run away from the whole defense when he gets in the open field but certainly sets up blocks well down the field kind of navigates and eludes tacklers and wiggles in and out of contact I like those elements of his game but it's his route running that really stands out the concern that I have with Wandell is, is the same as I have like in the first round version of this is Traylon Burks, right? What is his route tree with the Patriots and what is his usage in New England? And can they get more out of him than just handing him the ball on a jet sweep or throwing a screen to him or uh, maybe having him run slants over the middle or something like that? Can he expand and develop his route tree to have a complete usage with the Patriots offense? That is a concern that I would have with any prospect, not just Wandale that's in this mold, because I look at the Patriots and I say, you, at least the Josh McDaniels version of their offense, we'll see what it looks like moving forward. You have to fit into a role 
to be productive here. You can't just take a player and build a new thing out of it because they haven't had real success with that. Otherwise, Johnny Smith would have had a huge year last year and Nikhil Harry might have actually panned out here in New England. If there's not a built-in role within their system that fits the player, then I think it makes it difficult to project that player into their offense. Sky Moore is one of those guys that I can sit here and say, you give him Julian Edelman's route tree and he's going to produce in the, on that route tree. What's Wondell Robinson's role that already exists in the Patriots offense, right? So, that, that's a concern that I would have with it. Can I go a little outside of the box to try to answer that question? Yes. Peak James White. James okay. White, when they used to line him up out, yeah. you know, remember, because they, they used to line him up outside like 35, 40% of the time, right? Or in the slide, they lined him up as a receiver 35, 40% of the time. And again, he is a converted running back. What if he's your answer to, to potentially losing James White? And then he, like, like, what if he fills, he doesn't fill any one player's role, but he half fills the loss of James White and half fills the loss of Julian Edelman. Again, they, that's, con, that's still kind of new. So it doesn't totally disprove your concern, which I think is a valid right. one. But they're not just going to keep at a certain point. They just stop hitting repeat. That's the best. So, uh, that's the best argument you've made so far about how they could use Wandell Robinson effectively. This is not a Wandell Robinson problem. This is a Patriots right. problem, right. right? And when I look at a guy like Sky Moore, I know. Okay, Sky Moore is going to play the Z. He's going to play Julian Edelman's role. He's going to run Julian Edelman's routes, and he's going to be productive running them. Right. Easy yeah. projection, easy transition, all those types of things. With guys like Burks, with guys like Wandale, they need that, right? They need the play speed. Right. They need the big play explosiveness that those guys bring to the table that Sky and Moore might not necessarily bring. But unfortunately, they don't know how to use it properly and they don't know how to harness it. And they also don't really have a great track record of taking guys with limited route trees and developing them into more expanded football players. So, it, it's just a, it stinks. It stinks that right. we can't just sit here and pound the table for a guy like Wandell Robinson because he feels like a perfect fit and a perfect amount of juice for what they need at that spot. Same with Traylon Burks. Traylon Burks should be a guy that we're talking about as a first round pick at number 21 for the Patriots. But all of us are terrified of them drafting a guy like Traylon Burks and having him turn into Nikhil Harry 2.0. So it, it's, it is what it is. Speaking about these coaching, uh, along these coaching lines, I should say. Well, I um, just, so you're, you're, I'm just curious. Like the the thing with him and James White, that's not to, like you you would buy that. You don't think that's totally out of the box? No, I, I'm I'm not saying it's totally out of the box. I I buy it more than them trying to figure out some sort of role of him as a Z or something like that, and and crafting a new role for him there. It's the best argument you've made so far of how they could okay. use Wondell Robinson effectively. Thanks for watching our content of the six-time Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. Please subscribe to my podcast, Patriots Beat, on our YouTube channel, Patriots Press Pass, or wherever you get your podcasts for a lot more exclusive content right here on the CLNS Media Network.